election and its aftermath have raised some existential questions, like how far under the bus should Democrats throw women and people of color? And if the Republic falls in the forest, does it crush Don Jr. before he shoots an endangered animal? And of course, do facts even exist? People that say facts are facts, they're not really facts. I think sometimes we can disagree with the facts. Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts to that. Facts. Is there facts? What is facts? Hold on. Let me clear my throat. <clears throat> Sorry about that. What is facts? Facts. Facts. Alternative facts. Eh. Facts. Facts of life. Alternative facts. Like dark matter, the discovery of alternative facts has upended our understanding of the universe, introducing a new paradigm many are still struggling with. I've formalized this in first order logic. Catherine Ritchie is a philosopher. Like many in her field, she has been contending with the discovery of alternative facts. That's going to make the whole sentence uh, false. A new concept she admits is difficult to grasp. Thinking about alternative facts, nothing can both uh, B and not B. So it can't be the case that P, while it's also the case that not P. Indeed, many philosophers have noted the complicated relationship between P and Donald Trump. <laughs> Peter Canby, head of fact-checking for The New Yorker, is also grappling with revolutionary changes. What is it like to fact-check a statement from President Trump? Is that like being inside three people's migraine headaches? We were checking a piece on Mike Flynn, and we sent some queries to uh, Steve Bannon. And we just got a blank email back from him, which was kind of interesting. A blank email, facts countered with zen-like emptiness. Or perhaps Bannon's just an old drunky drunk who doesn't understand technology. Alternative facts. What content in The New Yorker gets fact-checked? We check art, we check poetry. Do you also fact check the cartoons? We do. Does anyone joke check the cartoons? I just don't get it. The field of alternative facts continues to advance despite resistance from radical factualists. If we don't have that sort of basis of factual reality that we can agree upon, we're into sort of a very strange world. But quantum physics suggests we are in a strange world where alternative facts are constantly spawned in T-space, phenomena confirmed by the research of the renowned Stephen Bushkemi. Yeah, it's Bushkemi. So, my experiments demonstrate that the very process of observation of a fact creates a sort of quantum uncertainty wherein... Ah, fuck it, I'll just show you. Give me the cat. The cat represents the fact that cats are cats. Cats are cats. Dr. Bemshumi Usami puts the fact cat and the president's Twitter feed in the box and closes the cover. Now I'm gonna turn this sucker on. Cats are not cats. Sad. So note how the uncertainty coefficient of the fact that cats whoops, there's another. Tonight, cats and any other people. Okay. Well I don't... cats are a distraction from Russia. Alright, this is getting why not? A black cat. It doesn't matter. All what... cats matter. No, I didn't mean that. I mean, yes, of course black cats matter. It's pronounced Bush Kami. It's Busemi. How... Cat cock suck dog dick and oil shaking my hand. Alright, right, I'm gonna stop the experiment right now. And so we find ourselves back where we began. Uh, what is facts? Is there facts? If facts is, what is there? No, 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 no. Listen up. There's no great epistemological debate here. There's just a handful of turds making shit up. Facts is facts. Oh, I get this one. It's pronounced Bakshemi. It's... I will fucking strangle you.